are Lexi and Terry Shank, who are joining us here on vocals. We have Marcus Gibson back there on the other acoustic guitar. Dr. Jared Tass has joined us this evening. We're happy for that. Our papa is on our electric guitar today. And his son, Austin, is helping us out with percussion and drums. Greg Jones on the bass. And then my lovely wife, Joni, right here. Who are you? I'm Ron. <laughs> Why am I saying? A couple of weeks ago was Valentine's Day. And I just happened to go into the garage. And in the corner, under the man saw, in an ugly bucket, was kind of a disheveled arrangement of flowers. And I thought, oh, are those my flowers this year? Oh, they were droopy, and some of the petals were off, and they were kind of like clumped. And I don't know, they weren't very pretty, surely. They just weren't arranged well. And I thought, oh, I don't want to tell when I saw these flowers, but, oh. Uh, so the next day was Valentine's Day, and I got up, and a transformation had taken place. Those flowers that looked lackluster, droopy, petals off, clumped here, there, with no purpose, he had made a beautiful arrangement. And I'm going to show you that. And this picture doesn't even do justice to it. But the reason why I want to tell you about this little story is because I thought, isn't that how God is with us? We might look kind of bad on the outside. We might be in that bucket that's crusted under a bandsaw. The petals are drooping, you know. Just lackluster. But God can take us, me, and he can chop it here, chop it there. Sometimes he needs to get the hedge clippers out and prune me a little bit more. But he wants us, each one, to show a picture of who he is to other people. And when God transforms our life, Wow, we're not the same people, are we? Thank God for that. <laughs> <laughs> 